Humanoid robotics is a growing and demanding research field that's gained significant attention in recent years and will continue to influence the primary role in robotics research in many 21st century plays. However, one of the common difficulties encountered in humanoid robotics in the application domain is the awareness of human-like data processing and the basic mechanisms of the human brain in dealing with real world. Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. In today's video, we're going to learn more about the rise of humanoid robots. Stay with us to the end. So why are female humanoid robots important? Female human-like robots are highly valued on the robotic life tree. It all makes sense. Female humans are brilliant, beautiful, compassionate, lovable, and romantically successful. So why shouldn't we strive to make female human-like robots in these ways? Don't we want robots to have mind-blowing abilities like love, compassion, and genius? Certainly robots do not yet have these capabilities. However, we risk achieving such dreams solely by striving for them. This is because we limit our machines to the most basic requirements when designing female human inspired robotics. We know that humanoid robots represent the pinnacle of bio inspired engineering. Female humanoid robots contribute to the advancement of science. They push the boundaries of biology, cognitive science, and engineering, resulting in a mountain of scientific publications in a variety of fields related to female humanoid robotics, such as computational neuroscience, AI, speech recognition, compliant greedy and manipulation, cognitive robotics, robotic navigation, perception, and the integration of these beautifully applied sciences inside whole female humanoids. This integrative strategy reflects current developments in structural biology, and female humanoid robotics can thus be viewed as a subset of metabiology. They cross-pollinate among the sciences and define the difficulty of scientific inquiry. What are these scopes for female humanoid robots? They can go great in healthcare. A prominent example of how robots and female humanoids are used in healthcare was throughout the top COVID-19 pandemic in many hospitals. The hospital was once transformed into a robot-run subject health center for COVID-19 patients with the following features. A thermometry machine to test incoming patients' temperatures and alert clinical staff in the event of fever symptoms, robots to assist patients with clinical admissions and provide critical information. Droids disinfect floors and deliver patients' food, medicine, and resources. A Herix AI platform to screen patients' basic alerts via smart bracelets and rings worn by them, allowing healthcare workers to reveal their basic data remotely. In short, the medical facility was once computerized to a large degree in order to reduce the burden and risk of contamination for fitness care workers. The robots in their facilities, however, are now on standby in case of resurgence in cases. Robots have taken on and can continue to play some of the various roles in healthcare during a pandemic. For example, they can perform telepresence and mask detection. Pepper has used telepresence to connect families and doctors to the contaminated and in stores to maintain social distance throughout the pandemic. For disinfection, robots such as Xenix robots use ultraviolet light to disinfect wards. Agriculture is also a field for them. The World Food Program predicts an 82% increase in females with acute food insecurity across 79 countries between 2019 and 2020. In addition, the COVID-19 protocols had an immediate impact on farmers, preventing them from accessing markets, shopping for inputs, promoting their products, and obtaining necessary labor to assist with plowing, maintaining, and harvesting farmlands. As a result, many countries and farmers are looking to robotics to help with agriculture in the future. Autonomous Farms Iron Ox operates an 8,000 square foot farm that employs two cloud-connected robots to monitor the growth of leafy vegetables and herbs grown in internal heavy hydroponic pods. They were able to promote their plants to the market in San Carlos 13. Weeding Robots Chateau Maton Rothschild has collaborated with Nio Technology to bring Ted, the company's vine-tailored robotic weed killer 13, on board. Work is automated harvesters. Merrim Orchard's fruit farms have used drones from Tevil Aerobotics Technologies, which use artificial intelligence, to recognize and select ripe fruits 12. Finally, there's hospitality. Due to COVID-19, some restaurants and retailers began using female humanoids and robots for a variety of purposes, including the following. 
MSC Cruises intends to use a female humanoid robotic bartender on their upcoming Cruise 15. In addition, Hotel Sky in Africa's Santan district employs three automatic attendants, Lexi, Micah, and Ariel, to grant room service and analyze guests' facial expressions to determine their satisfaction with the service provided. To begin with, Robotic Kiosk in December 2020, Blended and Jamba debuted a robotic kiosk where customers can order customizable smoothies via an app. A robot organizes and serves the smoothies. Robot-powered restaurants. In China's Guangdong province, the Qianqi Robot Catering Group opened a robot-powered restaurant complex in the town of Shunda. Similarly, female humanoids and robots find a lot of use in defense, surveillance, monitoring, and education. Surprisingly, in this new era, they're used in digital life. The beginnings of valid digital life are being shaped by advances in humanoid robotics. As previously stated, artificial intelligence is a critical component that has facilitated recent advancements in robotics. However, researchers and scientists in the 20th century could hardly comprehend robots capable of accomplishing what they can today. As a result, the abilities of AI life can serve as a predictor of how humanoid robotics will progress in the coming years. Most countries have used an AI chatbot at some point in their history. They have evolved significantly for online customer service, but are typically only capable of providing pre-programmed responses to basic issues. Alexa, Siri, and other AI personal assistants are more developed and capable of comprehending language and remembering limited conversations. The AI developed by Samsung Star Labs takes artificial intelligence to a whole new level. Samsung's Neons are sentient, artificially intelligent species. They have unusual physical appearances, voices, and temperaments. These virtual beings are designed to one day perform various jobs and positions, such as education, counseling, and even friendship. While the Neons are still in development, Samsung hopes to make them widely available to the public one day, where they'll be able to form relationships and memories with humans with whom they interact. AI beings with digital physical impressions are becoming more common. Meanwhile, AI pop celebrity Hatsune Miku has evolved into a melody manifestation in Japan and worldwide, with live performances ranging from her holographic avatar's debut to sold-out auditoria. What are the advantages of female humanoid robots in a new era? To begin with, it's a robot with a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs, though some female humanoid robots may mannequin a section of the body, such as from the waist up. They may also have a face, eyes, and a mouth. Androids are female humanoid robots designed to look like female humans, while gynoids are female humanoid robots designed to look like female humans. It has a head that's designed to look like a female human facial features like the eyes and lips. It can be used for useful goals such as attractive female human equipment and settings and experimental purposes such as learning about locomotion. Female humanoid robots can perform any female human task as long as they have the necessary software. Despite their practical appearance, they can be used for future dangerous missions and away's house research missions as companions and aids for female humans in everyday life and as final aid in synthetic and herbal disasters. Many humans will benefit from these female humanoid robots that will look after the sick, collect trash, protect homes and offices, and provide street instructions. But life in society will be different with female humanoid robots. It will, however, be very efficient and the financial system will grow. Corporations and organizations will also be grateful for robots because they can replace jobs resulting in much less money to be paid to employees. They can be used as entertainers and in business settings, but they will no longer perform primary tasks. For example, these robots can now sing and dance, giving the impression that they're nearly female humans. Most synthetic brains no longer require a body to function, however the human body is difficult to replicate and there's still much more work to be done. They can assist older adults living in their homes, respond to disasters, and there have been significant advances in the engineering and manipulation components of female humanoid robots. Female humanoid robots can assist the military, they can move, acquire data via sensors in the real world and interact with it. They lack some aspects of the female human body. They're made up of buildings with variable flexibility, which provide protection for the robot and people, and movement redundancy and law enforcement will benefit from them. What do you think of the rise of female humanoid robots? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.